The power of landscape to influence our thoughts, to inhabit our dreams, our very souls. It's all on display here in central Idaho's Sawtooth country. There are, by some estimates, more than 100 mountain ranges in the state. But there's something special about this elegantly displayed mass of granite. Maybe it's the 30 miles of unobstructed view along the highway, or how it rises straight up from lush mountain meadows. And of course, its wealth of glacially formed lakes nestled among a chaos of jagged ridges. Take a poll and there's no question which range wins the beauty contest. Geologists tell us this was once a hot mess of molten lava that eventually cooled deep underground. The sawtooth batholith, the Greek word for deep rock. 45 million years later, this is the view. A bit younger than other nearby batholiths, its teeth still sharp, yet still subjected to the unrelenting forces of wind, rain, snow, and ice. All in all, a fragile landscape for something so permanent. Some people have actually built a life around Idaho's version of the Alps. They have set aside the comforts of urban living and accepted the challenges that come with 30 below temperatures. Stanley often wins the dubious honor of being the coldest place in the continental U.S. Still, for them it's worth it to live amidst such majesty. The rest of us were content to sample the sawtooths in smaller doses, pulled back year after year by the promise that this landscape offers up. To hike among the granite in the meadows, there are 350 miles of trails. To fish for trout in any of the 400 breathtakingly blue lakes. To test oneself on the golden granite of Elephant's Perch, considered by many rock climbers to be the best stone in the state. Others prefer to just lounge around historic Redfish Lake Lodge a ready source of inspiration for photographers and painters alike. I found a spot here where I can see Mount Habern and the Grand Mogul, all, both at the same time. How about this for an office window? <laughs> Fascination with this lodge existed long before it was easy to reach the outskirts, as evidenced by this 1931 Redfish Lake Lodge pamphlet for the person who wants to turn his back on the grinding roar of the civilized world and seek the quiet and peace of this primitive, untouched mountain country. I really humbly recognize that we're stewards of a very, very special place. And I really do think there's something about this area that is almost magical to them that they didn't even know existed. It's just a very unique place. You can get a 10 minute boat ride and be right in the heart of the wilderness area where you experienced yesterday. And there's a physical separation from civilization, if you will, and all of a sudden you're right in the lap of the backcountry. The lodge's role as welcoming committee to the Sawtooths has remained constant for more than 90 years. We've really tried to be true to that man, to Robert Lindbergh. I mean, he built the lodge back in 1929. He had a vision of kind of bringing in the folks from back east and letting them experience this wild, wild west. In fact, Robert Lindbergh was the consummate Idaho explorer and PR man. He'd already convinced President Calvin Coolidge in 1924 to make Craters of the Moon a national monument. Later, he moved his family to Redfish Lake and was one of the first to push for national park status for the area. In order to feed his passion and his family, Limbert built the lodge, complete with a general store, a gas station, boat docks, an ice house, and six log cabins. 
the admiration and respect I have for Robert Limbert has grown tremendously as I've studied him and learned what he did to get this place here. Good morning, how you doing? Good. It's been the most satisfying part of what I've done to see the relationship that I have with people that have been coming for Are there four of you or okay, very good. 30, 40 years and I realize that boy your roots are deep and the feeling of family and tradition, all those things are very, very profound here. I text them and then It's just been a wonderful way to raise a family and see them get a chance to learn how to work and interact with people and learn how to communicate and all those things that are important. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. It is truly the magic of the place to see grandma and grandpa with these little kids and the freedom the kids have. and. It's just a different place to come to unplug from the technology and feel safe about the kids running around and not have to worry about it. 